Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Google Chrome web browser on a Mac OS device. So this should often be a fairly straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser that's installed on our computer, which in most people's case should be Safari. So go ahead and open up Safari from the system dock down here, or you could search for it too through Spotlight. And into Google, just type in Google Chrome and just search for that. One of the best matches should say Google Chrome. Download the fast, secure browser. So go ahead and open that up. Again, if there's an advertisement, I'd be a little leery of clicking on an ad, but you can see it is from Google, so I would not be uncomfortable clicking on that, but I would recommend clicking on the first non advertisement I saw. So it says download Chrome. Go ahead and just left click on that. Select Allow. So now go ahead and take this Google Chrome download on our desktop and drag it over to this field here where you see there is a blue highlight box around this other box. So go ahead and make sure you drag it in there. Just drag and drop. You drag and drop this one, just drag it right into there.
And there you go, you see it's in our applications folder here. I'm actually going to stop here as I was doing that twice. But you can see in our applications folder there is a Google Chrome in here. So if we want to pin it to our taskbar, we can just go ahead and just drag and just put it right in. And if we were to open it up, it should open up just fine. Minimize or close out of everything else at this point. I'm going to go ahead and select open. You can set it as your default browser as well as enabling usage statistics to be sent to Google Chrome if you want. You can keep both options, uncheck both, keep one, keep none. Doesn't really matter to me. We're going to go ahead and select the Start Chrome button. It's going to ask do you want to change your default web browser to Chrome or keep using Safari. We're going to switch it to Chrome. So I'm just going to set that and that should be about it. And there you go guys. You can see Google Chrome has been installed on our computer. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.